on achieving your competent communicator. I could immediately tell when you came out to begin your speech that you have learned a lot in the 10 speeches that you've given. You immediate, very smoothly removed the lectern, took command of the space, and unlike Abraham Lincoln, you didn't have to work so hard to get our attention because you're a very well-formed and, and handsome young man. You're very tall and fit-looking, so your, your speech to inspire us to fitness is what I thought it was going to be. And I could tell, I was not surprised to learn that you could run a marathon. And when you went into your speech and said that you were later inspired because of what you learned about MS to ride 150 miles on a bicycle did not surprise me either because you, I could tell that you could do this. And the empathy that you had for people who were not fit because of illness was very apparent in your speech. So the thing I want to talk about today is not the content of your speech, which about the MS and the information that you had there, which was all very good and informed. So that was, that was good. I want to talk to you about the end of your speech. The purpose of your, your objective was speaking to inspire. You did very well on informing, because we all learned more about MS. I think you were surprised at how many of us raised our hands when you said how many of you know about it because I don't think you thought that we would be so informed. Now, I don't know about other people, but my family has been impacted by this disease, so that's why I know about MS. But since the objective of your speech was speaking to inspire, when you got to talking about your team and how we could all be a part of your team, I think you should have touched that up more. It seemed a little bit to me like you were a little embarrassed that you were asking us take on that obligation. And I don't think you should be. You should instead turn that around and then talk to your audience about what a privilege it is for them to be on your team. You are going to ride 150 miles. And in order to do that, you need to raise a minimum of $400. And you should talk to the people in the audience, like me, who will never get on that bicycle and ride 150 miles, and you're doing it for us. So, Felipe, I want you to inspire me. So here is $20. <laughs>